Hello again. Uh, different scenery today. It's a beautiful day, so I thought I'd uh, go outside for this one. And uh, today's video is about is about how I made a hundred k, more or less, as a freelance web developer. Do my hair. Wow. That's better. So um, I quit my job in 2019. Just a bit of a, just a bit of a, is it pretext? I quit my job at 2019 and I uh, tried sales for six months in Japanese, selling uh, Vietnamese devs to Japanese companies. And uh, the reason I'm saying this is that I think uh, learning sales is really important as a freelance, as a freelance anything. So uh, that helped me a lot. So anyway. Let's go straight to what I did. I basically ran multiple projects, maybe four or five. And, and this is, uh, when was this? 2000, 2021. So last year, I was able to reach the goal of 100K as a freelance web developer. So my first, so I'll go, I'll break down the project. I'll break down the projects and uh, exactly what I, uh, more or less what I did, my responsibilities. So the first one was, uh, it was a project for the Olympics. Can't say exactly what, but uh, I got 15K for that. And that was uh, in Vue.js, Node.js, and it was hosted on uh, AWS. And the database was uh, MySQL. The next project was an order kind of dashboard system, something like, what do you call it? Like Uber Eats, but a dashboard so that admins can uh, watch everything that's happening. And I was paid 18,000. 18, and um, the next one was, uh, Shopify, Shopify work, and that was uh, that was a lot. That was a lot more. That was uh, fifty six thousand. And then the last one was a management dashboard. Let's just say management dashboard, and that was something like a uh, twelve thousand. And all these were in Vue.js and Node.js. But wow, what a lovely day today! That's, that goes towards the palace. So, uh, uh, these, these, uh, each one of these uh, projects lasted around uh, six months. And uh, they are overlapping each other, which is fine. You just have to uh, learn how to manage your time. So, uh, just some... Uh, now these are my tips, my five top tips, 10 top tips is uh, I learned that you should be likable. Should, I mean, not should, what's the word? Being likable helps you so much, being likable. And because I'm not the, to be honest, I'm not the best uh, web developer. I'm not the best tech guy. And uh, always uh, connect with people. Not always, but try, try to get, make one new friend or client a month or something. I don't know how to explain it in terms of how many per month, but just always keep your eye open for new clients and go, go and drink with them or have lunch with them. So this is my recommendation is uh, how to manage projects in general. And so this is why I think um, having one client might not be the best option so I have multiple and the reason is having one client and you say to them yeah I'll work on this project as a full time for freelance is that uh, they can kind of control you in a way and the free and freelance means free doesn't it so having multiple projects and only spending, spending let's say 20, 20 hours for each project, uh, you can um, 
balance out who has control over your time. It might sound strange for, for some people, but that's how it, it works for me. And they're not always uh, trying to micromanage you. But um, and about the hourly versus project base, I always push for project base. But, but you know, it's a it's a double edged sword because the project base might take more time than the hourly rate. So you you it's really hard to judge this. But at least you know how much you'll get at the end of the year or at the end of the month. So yeah, try aim for the project base and then just tell them you can't work more than 20 hours a week if you push to maybe 25 because so that you can have three projects running at one time and uh and each project can be around uh four thousand five thousand dollars three thousand dollars each uh per month so the o- optimal will be um getting like four to five thousand for 20 hours of work per month uh, how do you say 20 hours a week and then you get uh, 4,000 a month from one project so that's 20 hours a week so so if you optimize you can have three projects each getting uh, four to five K and then you'll have your uh, your uh, 12 to $15,000 a month And, and you should uh, all of these all these projects I'm doing, they are all um, for remote. So I tell them I'm not I'm not going to be stuck in the office with some guy breathing behind me. I need uh, I need my own space and my own time to do what I want to do. So that's that about. And you shouldn't be scared to say that because there is a, um, that's because the demand and supply issue here is the demand can't uh, meet the supplies. The supply being us, web developers. So you should exercise this in balance and go to the table with your terms, go to a, company with the terms that you have because they have their own terms and if they don't match you go okay bye and I think uh, you'll find out that a lot of people even if you say I only work remotely half of them probably say no and they'll miss out on uh, having another web developer and some will say yes so just try and uh, about the Japanese level uh, I'm barely N2 so if you have N2 you're already better than me at Japanese probably so all my clients speak Japanese to me and it's all uh, it's all in Japanese and to be honest I'm pretty uh, garbage at language I can barely speak English so don't worry too much about the language part and then I uh, one more tip is uh, one more thing I did was in 2020 I didn't make so much actually uh, and that was because I was also traveling a lot around Japan uh, by myself so that's another good thing to do is if you can get the full remote you just travel around and you go to uh, Okinawa the South Island you go to the northern uh, uh, Hokkaido and uh, that's great so you can travel while you work travel Japan while you work it's really fun so uh, anyway in 2020 I quit uh, I saved up enough for around six months or so of food and food and rent so that six months might be different for you how much you need so that's another thing to keep in mind is and the reason I saved up six months of rent and food is that I'm not so scared to not have a project and that fear I think they can feel it when you uh, talk to them oh this guy really needs something okay so automatically you're on the they're gonna catch you you look hungry but if you're not so hungry they uh, then you can demand more without being scared that you'll be rejected a project so that's really important to remember uh, to try if you're learning about freelance I'll make another video about that about uh, how to transition from a 
normal employee to a freelancer, the pros and cons and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it's a bit different today, outside in the, in the sun. I'll go to a ca- uh, really, uh, my, my favorite cafe nearby, get something to eat and drink. And uh, yeah, if you uh, watch this so far, thank you. And I'll see you next time.